I think men need to stop being afraid of admitting certain things about themselves that make up who they are. Because once they can own that shit, it becomes a strength. And other people will notice. With that said, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. One of my subscribers asked me, why don't I do a video about fear in prison? And I thought about it. I said, you know what? That's a good idea, man. For some reason, I think, um, well, it's not some reason. I know what the reason is for most people. Um, people don't like to admit to having fear. That in itself is, is obvious weakness, right? If you can't admit a flaw, if you can't admit to being fearful of something, fear is natural, um, fear is, is, is part of our, our mentality for a reason, right? When you're engaged in something physical, when you're going to engage in something physical and you don't know the outcome, there should be some type of fear, especially behind the walls. You're going to go out. You're going to engage with somebody who you have to assume has a weapon, has used it before, and knows how to use it. On top of that, you have a gunner in the tower, in the towers, the central tower, of course, who you don't know what type of day he's having. He could be having a bad day, and he's going to take it out on one of you. Right. So in that scenario, there should be some type of fear. But that's normal. You know damn well you're basically about to do a dance with death. You're going to be at a range where those mini 14s are going to do some serious damage. And yet the thing is. Is you allow that fear to make you more aware of what's going on, to give you that adrenaline, to give you that strength that you're going to need to utilize. The problem with fear is when people let fear control them. Anyone saying, and that's inside or outside, anyone who says they've never been afraid of anything. They never had any fear. There's only two things going on there. One, this person is a, a straight up habitual liar. Or this dude's a sociopath. If he's a sociopath, you're going to know. There's going to be no doubt. So then you got to say, okay, it's the other thing. This motherfucker's a liar. Right? Right? Again, fear is good, man. Fear will keep you alive. Fear will, will get you paying attention. You know, they say it's from back in our caveman days, supposedly, that um, we developed uh, the fight or flight instinct. So when fear hits you, what do you do? Do you fight or do you flee? Because there ain't no fucking fleeing in prison. You flee, you might as well flee all your way off that yard. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit, man. But um, I think when, when, when people are more uh, um, able to admit perceived weaknesses, that becomes a strength in itself. Obviously, you're not going to be on the yard and, you know, you get asked to do something. And you're not going to tell your Sally like, hey, homie, I'm kind of scared. Man, you better shut up. <laughs> Unless that's your homeboy from your neighborhood that you grew up with since kindergarten. Don't say that. He's already going to know. I know this Vato's a little nervous. And he's going to know. It's normal. You're going to go with somebody. Else. Especially, you know, it's your first time. You Usually, if you're around people who are um, intelligent, they're not going to pair a new guy with another new guy. 
that's when friendly fire comes into play a lot of times. Homie stabs the homie rather than the tar the target by accident. So you're usually going to send a new guy with a seasoned guy. That should give you a little peace of mind. And I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, anything you do in life, I don't care what it is. Whenever you have anxiety before you do it, after you do it, you look back and you say, man, I fucking made it a bigger thing in my head than what it really was. So. That's pretty much my spiel on the whole fear in prison thing. Um, fear, fear in general, it should never be viewed as a negative. Because I'm telling you, it sharpens it sharpens your your hearing. It sharpens your reaction time. But it only does that if you control the fear. Acknowledge it like, yeah, all right, you know, something might happen, but I got to do what I got to do. And that's not only in prison. That's out here. I say that and then I'll tell you this. I have a fear of heights. And I noticed that a lot of dudes that did a lot of prison time have a fear of heights. Why do we have a fear of heights? We ain't been nowhere high. <laughs> oh, man, I remember one time on a layover. Because um, a lot of times when you're going to when you're going to go to the bay, you're going to lay over in um, Tracy or San Quentin. Right. And I remember I lay one of my layovers in, in San Quentin and they put me on the fifth tier. Dear Lord, I look down and I got a little woozy. <laughs> I think that meant I got scared. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I hugged the wall and, and I made it through. Right. I got to figure out what I what I can do. They say if you got a fear, a, a fear of heights. That you should skydive. And I'm like, no, thank you. I wasn't born with wings. If you're not born with wings, you're not supposed to be jumping out of planes. But. With that said, let me go ahead and bring this one to a close. I appreciate you guys giving me the time of day. Um, give me some more suggestions because I don't think this is a video that's going to get a lot of hits. But I thought it was a good topic, man. I think people need to stop. Let me take that back. I think men need to stop being afraid of admitting certain things about themselves that make up who they are. Because once they can own that shit, it becomes a strength. And other people will notice. With that said, everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out.